Hello my dear friends and Chanakya IAS fraternity. We will be beginning with today's topic of discussion that is Human Development Index. So we would be analyzing that what is the relevance of this topic and why it is important. Before going into the discussion, I would like to put forward a simple and very straightforward question that who published the Human Development Index report. I would repeat it again that who published the HDI report. Your options are United Nations Development Program, UNESCO, World Economic Forum or WHO. Lock your answers and watch the video till the end to know the answers. So the news is that India goes down two ranks in Human Development Index. So we would be discussing that why it is in news and what is the context of the discussion. Uh, very recently, UNDP has published Human Development Index report and in the index, India dropped two ranks in the report and it got 131st rank out of 189 countries. We will be analyzing the relevance of this news and cover the wholesome aspect that how it is important from the UPSC aspirant's point of view and how it is important for the civil services exam. So first of all, we would be dealing with the basics. What are the basics of Human Development Index? So Human Development Index is part of Human Development Report that is published by UNDP. Okay, and then HDI emphasizes that people and their capabilities should be the ultimate criteria for assessing the development of a country and not economic growth alone. Do you know that why it is being written here that uh, the real aspect of the measuring the growth or development should be the people and their capabilities and not economic growth alone? Because economic growth can be tempted and it can show distorted pattern but people and their capabilities are ultimate test of development okay so now we would be talking that what are the indicators of human development index so human development indicators are long and healthy life knowledge and a decent standard of living so by long and healthy life we means that what is the life expectancy at birth okay and by knowledge we means what are the expected years of schooling or many years of schooling in a country and gross national income per capita at triple P terms. We would be discussing ahead that what is triple P. Stay tuned. So taking the discussion ahead, we would uh, be seeing that Human Development Index is the measure of a nation's health, education and standards of living. As we have discussed in the earlier slide, that there are three uh, three indicators of human development index so it is also being uh, can be assessed that human development index is the measure of a nation's health education and standards of living and according to the report life expectancy of indians at birth in 2019 was 69.7 years uh, we could be take it out nearly to 70 years. Okay. So life expectancy of Indians is 69.7 years. While Bangladesh has a life expectancy of 72.6 years. <laughs> it is quite interesting to know. And Pakistan has 67.3 years. The 2020, according to 2020 Human Development Report. Okay. So India, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Nepal and Pakistan were all ranked among countries with medium human development. So these all countries are in the medium human development index and India has also in the same category. Because uh, And India's value for 2019 is 0.645 which put it in the medium human development category. And I have also earlier told, uh, told you that India has got 131 rank out of 189th rank. So uh, further taking our discussion, India's gross national income. India's gross national income per capita on the basis of purchasing power parity to fell from $6,829 in 2018 to $6,681 in 2019. So here 
our per capita income is also falling per capita income is also falling so between 1990 and 2019 india's life expectancy at birth increased by 11.8 years nearly to 12 years and mean years of schooling increased by 3.5 years expected years of schooling increased by 4.5 years and gross national income per capita in, uh, per, per capita increased by huge very huge but it is from 1990 and 2019 so we would be discussing that what is ppp purchasing power parity so basically purchasing power parity is determine the adjustment what type of adjustment adjustment needed to be made in exchange rate of two currencies to make them at par with other purchasing powers agar hum isko simple bhasha mein bole to in other words the expenditure on a similar commodity must be same in both the countries while taking the exchange rate ratio अब इसको एग्जाम्पल लेके देखेंगे कि मान के चलिए आपने इंडिया में एक पेयर ऑफ शूज खरीदा ठीक है अब वो आपकी चॉइस है कि आप नाइकी खरीदते हैं कि रीबॉक या प्यूमा दैट डजेंट मैटर ओके आपने इंडिया में एक पेयर ऑफ शूज खरीदा उसकी वैल्यू थी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके एंड देन द सेम शूज कॉस्ट डॉलर फिफ्टी इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका तो इट इंश्योर दैट परचेजिंग पावर पेरिटी शुड बी फिफ्टी बिटवीन यूएस एंड इंडिया सो दिस इज हाउ द परचेजिंग पावर पेरिटी वर्क एंड वॉट आर द रीजन फॉर इंडिया बींग अ पुअर परफॉर्मर इन ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स रीजन फॉर इंडिया बींग अ पुअर परफॉर्मर देर आर मैनी रीजन बट द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट वंस आर पॉवर्टी मान न्यूट्रिशन okay so if we particularly talking about the poverty then the most recent survey that is available for mpi multi dimensional poverty index uh, 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 that uh, of base year 2015 and 2016 it says that uh, 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 nearly 28% of the population are multi dimensionally poor while an additional nearly 20% are classified under vulnerable to multi dimensional poverty the such a huge number around 28% of the population of india is multi dimensionally poor what is multi dimensional poverty multi dimension poverty says that poverty is just not based on the economic aspect it is related to several other aspects like education social criteria your work needs and many more okay so second is malnutrition uh, in a very recent report we see this is it that in australia indigenous mothers have a higher risk of giving birth to babies of low birth weight and poor nutrition is higher among indigenous children the same happens in the asia where indigenous children in cambodia india and thailand show more malnutri- malnutrition related issues like stunting and wasting and wasting is too thin for their height matlab unka weight bahut kam hota hai and malnutrition in india is twice the level of african nations and very recent report published on global hunger index put india at 94th rank out of 107 countries so what is the positives of this report hdi human development index the human development index positively said that india's green energy initiatives are very successful like solar capacity in india increased from 2.6 gigawatts to 30 gigawatts achieving its target of 20 gigawatts four years ahead of the schedule we are running ahead of the schedule in this context and in terms of solar capacity india got the rank of 5 and there is also evidence from colombia to india that financial security and land ownership improve women's security and reduce the risk of gender based violence it shows that how much importance financial independence for the women is and under the paris agreement india has pledged to reduce the emission intensity of its gdp from 2005 levels by 33 to 35% by 2030 and achieve 40% of its capacity power from non fossil fuels india is also doing very good on this indcs 
in the intended nationally determined contributions you can read it under the paris agreement so but there is also a very very some aspect that is india ranked in the top third for low unemployment rate and there is a very good news that is high number of seats held by women in local governance this shows that how local governments is being run it is also ranked among the top third for most socio economic empowerment we are doing the socio economic empowerment at a very good pace like female share of stem you must have heard about stem stem is science technology engineering and mathematic field in states female share a large number of graduate and uh, and women have holding financial account and maternity paid leave so uh, there is also some criticism of the ranking system of human development index what are those criticism we would be analyzing that thing uh, low scores in the human development index is a matter of serious concern but there are some reservations that are time and again being put forward by the economists and social activists like these uh, in the, these concerns are that india in the past has suffered colonization imperialism and now after 1991 india is also facing new imperialism and socio cultural factors like human rights violation social discrimination सोशल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन किस किस बेसिस पे होता है अपने यहाँ रेस आए दिन होता है रिलीजन जेंडर कास्ट एंड देर आर वेरियस सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक टेररिज्म वॉर ठीक है एंड पॉलिटिकल फैक्टर्स इंक्लूड डेमोक्रेसी समटाइम्स इट इज वेरियस स्टेटमेंट्स आर बींग इन द न्यूज दैट टू मच डेमोक्रेसी हेम फॉर द रिफॉर्म्स एंड अदर सच स्लगिश थिंग्स ठीक है सो इट सोच दैट रैंकिंग सिस्टम इज नॉट बींग very favorable to the third third world countries and these aspects have a special significance in case of india and many other developing nations because india was ultimately a colonial state in the past so the topic is main thing is that what should india do india ko kya karna chahiye taki wo apni ranking ko sudhar sake theek hai hum kitna hi criticize kar le ki hum human development index pe in in wajah se nahi अच्छा परफॉर्म कर पा रहे हैं कि हमारे फेवर में नहीं है बट डिस्पाइट ऑल द क्रिटिसिज्म द इंडेक्स इज डिजाइंड टू कंसीडर अदर फैक्टर्स बिसाइड्स वेल्थ लाइक लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग ओके एजुकेशन दीज थिंग्स एंड इंडिया नीड्स टू एड्रेस द थ्री पैरामीटर्स ऑफ ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट सेपरेटली एंड साइमल्टेनियसली वी शुड हैव टू टेक दिस अप्रोच ऑफ कॉपरेट कॉपरेशन कोऑर्डिनेशन सो फर्स्ट it cannot possibly envisage a long and healthy life without addressing the issue of malnutrition we have such a huge number of malnourished children in our country okay 144 million people can you imagine 144 million people go hungry every day in india and 23% of world's malnourished are in india despite being supreme court observed that right to food is a, a right to life uh, under the, comes under the article 21 and now divergence is being seen here that 62000 tons 62000 tons of food grains were damaged 62000 tons between 2011 and 2017 and alone in year 2016 and 17 over uh, 9000 tons of foods were lost why why were not uh, disbursing that food grains to the states and other agencies like panchayat so that it can be at least distributed to the malnourished or hungry peoples so these are issues but uh, don't go into that aspect government would better know that so now concluding the discussion we can say that development is a multi dimensional achievement we it is a very multi dimensional achievement it doesn't rely on a single factor you have to work on various fronts development is a multi dimensional achievement the gains achieved from the 25 years of lpg reforms must help build capabilities and improve the health of all sections humne jo 1991 mein lpg reforms laaye hain un reforms ko hamare liye ek benefit ki tarike se use karna chahiye humko apne all sections ki health pe dhyan dena chahiye humko apne manufacturing sector ki health badhani chahiye agriculture sector ki health badhani chahiye despite being just focusing on the service sector 
we need to also focus over the agriculture sector because agriculture employs more than 50% population of the country and we need to also handle the challenges such as urbanization housing deficit access to power water education and health care theek hai urbanization ka issue bahut serious hai kyunki abhi covid pandemic ka jo sabse zyada sabse zyada extent dekha gaya wo urban areas mein hi dekhne ko mila wo bhi mostly metro cities mein theek hai so a central focus on social indicators is necessary for india central focus on social indicators is very necessary for india to break its position as an underachiever in the index of human development so now coming back to the question the question says that who published the human development report and you all know the answer the answer is a undp so out of the discussion we can ex- we can uh, at, uh, we can extract a question out of the discussion that question is that it can be a practice question that india has shown no signs of improvement in the ranking of human development index in the last 3 to 4 years what are the reasons and suggest ways to improve the ranking read the question and practice the question till then watch the video do subscribe the channel and keep well do well and enjoy the life thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update